starters coming out for Heat B main number two. Joss and Wild. Jamie Oldfield, Brad Roberts, Robert Dunbar, David Linthorne, Jake Hoth, Lincoln Coleman, Wayne Thompson, Paul Bowman, David Stanley, Joe Wilson, Lockie Della, Scott Hunter, Barry Roberts, Glenn Chinnery, Cade Helms, Matt Lowe, Trevor Dace, and Brendan Fagan will be your starters. This is B main number two. 20 and 22, 20 cars going the traditional, the, uh, sorry, they're going clockwise up the main straight and we are green. Joss, Wild, Oldfield, the first three. Bradley Roberts in fourth place as a car charging around the outside as Robert Dunbar went off course, lost a few spots and that would be David Linthorne that's moved up to fifth place. Jamie Oldfield's in a hurry comes up on the outside of our race leader Paul Joss and says goodbye goes right round the outside and takes the lead after one lap Joss in second place back then to Brad Roberts fourth place is Shane Wild fifth place oh one car's gone up and a ball of smoke further back Shane Wild's in trouble as well he's gone back several spots got a couple of cars Wayne Thompson's going to stop the car on the back straight the yellow lights will have to come on so restart coming up Jamie Oldfield leading Paul Joss, Brad Roberts, Shane Wild and David Linthorne, your top five. We've still got 19 laps to go. Into the main straight they come, we're back under green. Down the main straight, Oldfield leads back to Paul Joss in second. Third place is Bradley Roberts and in fourth is Shane Wild. So move out of turn number two and down the back straight. Still a fair way to go in this one as Shane Wild now moves himself into a transfer spot. But Roberts immediately fights back in car 25. Linthorne in fifth place and in sixth place is Jake Hoth. As they move up the main straight, Shane Wild gets crossed up and has lost a couple of spots. So chocolate support, Lolly's there. One moment he's in a transfer spot. Next minute he's in sixth place. Jamie Oldfield out in front, running away with this one. Second place, Paul Joss, Bradley Roberts in third. Jake Hoth in fourth position, then Shane Wild comes underneath of David Linthorne, that's for fifth and sixth. Behind them is Lincoln Coleman, then Robert Dunbar. Up the main straight comes the main body of the field. One car into the fence here in the main straight was the 18 of da Daniel Stanley, sorted himself out in the nick of time. Down the back straight goes our race leader, Jamie Oldfield. He'll come out of turn four, there's two cars around. Uh, that car looks like it's either lost a wheel or all the panels have come off. It's sitting on the uh, right on the edge of the track. The yellow lights have come on. The 52 of Paul Bowman. And lap three is complete. So on lap four, this all unfolded again. Uh, he has lost a wheel. I thought I was right. The, uh, the uh, 94 of Robert Dunbar has lost a wheel. Car 52, you'll be on. And it don't seem so long. A restart coming up with 17 laps to go. Oldfield, Joss, Roberts, Hoth, Linthorne, Wild, Coleman. Then it'll be Stanley, Della, Hunter, Chinnery, Barry Roberts, Kate Helms, Trevor Dace, Matt Lowe. And Paul Bowman in car number 52 sees every one of them racing again. Up the main straight, Jamie Oldfield leads. Second place, it's that of Paul Joss and Bradley Roberts third. Jake Hoth in fourth place and David Linthorne. They run down the back straight once again here at Madge Up in the Avedge WA Street Stock title. This is B main number two for Heatley's Earthworks. Into the main straight we come. Our race leader is Jamie Oldfield, second is Joss, Roberts third, then back in fourth is Hoth, then Linthorne, Shane Wilde in sixth place. Their final transfer spot well and truly up for grabs. Bradley Roberts has a tenuous hold on it at the moment. Four down and 16 to go, it'll be five and 15 to go in a moment. So Oldfield out in front, leads by a second over Paul Joss. Roberts right behind Joss and Hoth right there as well. 
second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth, very close indeed. All filled out by 1.6 seconds. Here comes Hoth, Linthorne runs wide. Down the back straight, they run again. Joss in second place. Third place is Roberts. Hoth in fourth on the inside. Back there in fifth place is Shane Wilde. Coming up now is Lincoln Coleman in the 81. Linthorne goes back a spot. Daniel Stanley's there and goes under Linthorne as well. Our race leader though is well clear. That's Jamie Oldfield. Seven down and 13 to go for Oldfield. But the battle and where the interest is is the final transfer spots. And it's still anybody's guess because Roberts runs wide and Hoth comes underneath. Roberts sweeps back around the outside and shuts the gate. Shane Wild right in that leading group as well. Roberts runs wide again and Jake Hoth this time goes into third place as they come up on the slower cars in the middle of the corner. Around the outside goes Joss. So too Hoth. That's on the 26 of Fagan. Back then to Bradley Roberts and Shane Wild. Behind them is Lincoln Coleman. The final transfer spot is still anybody's guess. Still a long way to go. Yellow lights have come on as Barry Roberts spins himself out down there in turn three. Well, the order will be Oldfield, Joss, Hoth and Wild. Bradley Roberts not happy, but he was shown the inquiry flag three times for separate incidents, according to the officials. And he'll go back to sixth place behind Lincoln Coleman. So the order will be Oldfield, Joss, Hoth, Wild, Coleman and Roberts, Stanley and Linthorne, Della, Hunter, Chinnery, Bowman, Barry Roberts, Kate Helms and Matt Lowe. He was just given an option. You see the rejoin the race or be disqualified. That were his options. So Roberts will start out of six. Still 12 laps to go. Here we go with the restart, 12 to go. That's of course if nothing dramatic happens in these last 12 laps of course. Here we go, back underway. Oldfield leads them up the main straight from Paul Joss. Jake Hoth in third, Shane Wild. They're in fourth. Coleman in fifth place as they move out of turn one and two. So they move down the back straight. Wild in fourth, Coleman fifth. Here comes the challengers, Stanley and Roberts. Either side of Coleman. Roberts has been left out to dry. He's gone back a spot. So they come up the main straight. Oldfield leads. Here's a challenge for second. Jake Hoth goes under Paul Joss. Joss shuts the gate at the end of the main straight. Wild in fourth as they move out of turn number two. Back to Daniel Stanley in fifth position. Then we've got Roberts and Coleman. Coleman and Roberts. Roberts keeps Coleman. Coleman has spun. We're still under green at the moment. So move up the main straight. Oldfield the leader. Joss in second place. Back to Hoth in third. Fourth is Wild. Fifth place is that of Daniel Stanley. The remaining green. The greens have gone yellow. We're not remaining green. And that car moves away now, which I think is Lincoln Coleman over there. And you see that... Uh, and there'll be 11 laps to go. Yeah. We start coming up with 11 laps to go. Out of turn number four we come. Oldfield, Joss and Hoth, your first three. Down the main straight. Back then to Wild. Stanley is next. And in sixth place is Lincoln Coleman in the 81 car. Stanley comes underneath of Shane Wilde. Oh! And over the top of Shane Wilde goes the 81 of Lincoln Coleman. Some superb driving by cars further back, including Lockie Deller and Scott Hunter to miss all of that. And we've got another stoppage. Hey guys. Yeah, I Here we go with the restart. Green, green, green. 11 laps to go for Jamie Oldfield who leads them up the main straight from Paul Joss and Jake Hoth. Fourth position, Shane Wild. Then in fifth position, it's now David Linthorne. Lucky Deller in sixth place. Our lead three cars are clear at the moment. At the halfway mark, Oldfield goes high, moves into the main straight. 
Joss in second place. Oh, look out, Lockie Della, where are you going? Nearly took out the ambulance, the light tower, and a few other drivers as well. A slight, slight exaggeration, but he ran off at a rate of knots. He's parked on the infield and joining a long list. Into the main straight, nine to go. Out in front, Jamie Oldfield still in front. Joss, Hoth. A gap back in fourth place, the two car of Shane Wilde, who hasn't been able to close the gap on third place at this point. Back in fifth position, it's David Linthorne. Scotty Hunter is up there in sixth place. And coming underneath to him is Paul Bowman, who was sent to the rear of the field some time back. Our race leader, Jamie Oldfield, clear of Joss and Hoth. Shane Wilde sounds like a 1975 sidecar down a cylinder or two at the moment by the sounds of it. Linthorne in fifth place. Scotty Hunter is next. Paul Bowman, Barry Roberts. This is B-Main number two for Heatley's Earthworks. And the Avedge WA Street Stock title. Oldfield out in front. Second place, Joss from Hoth. Shane Wilde in fourth position. Back then to David Linthorne. Scotty Hunter, Paul Bowman and Barry Roberts. Further back to uh, Matt Lowe. Glenn Chinnery is next. Then Daniel Stanley. Hello, hello. And the yellow lights are on again. Paul Bowman is out of noise. Lap 14. Okay, no worries. Well. The way I do about you now. All about set to go with the restart here. We've got seven laps to go. The field is dwindling by the lap. Oldfield still in front though from Joss and Hoth and Shane Wilde, then Linthorne. Sixth place is Scotty Hunter and then Barry Roberts in seventh place. Oh, Linthorne goes wide and then headbutts the fence. Yellow. Another yellow. yellow. So David Linthorne. We'll take some more music while we sort this out, but Linthorne. Just. <laughs> Into the main straight we come again. Oldfield leads down the main straight. Second place is 69 car. Paul Joss, then Jake Hoth in third place. As they move down out of turn number one and two. Back in fourth place is still Shane Wilde. He has been for quite some period of time. As they move into turn number three and four past that car with the, head, with the tail lights on now. Wish they'd make their mind up. As they come into the main straight, the race leader is Oldfield. Second place is Paul Joss. And third place is Hoth. Back in fourth position, it is Shane Wilde as they move out of turn number two. And down the back straight, Scotty Hunter is the next one through, then Barry Roberts. There'll be five laps to go here in B main number two. Our race leader is Oldfield from Joss and Hoth. Fourth place is Wilde, then Hunter and Barry Roberts. Roberts under pressure now from, uh, looks like Matt Lowe. And Daniel Stanley actually, then Matt Lowe. As they move down the main straight again, four to go for Jamie Oldfield. Second and third still up for dispute. Hoth and Joss, Joss and then Hoth. Back to Shane Wilde, he's the only one who could possibly challenge. But he's uh, a second behind third at the moment. He's gonna need something to happen to catch Jake Hoth at this point with three to go. And the way they're going, it doesn't look likely, but we could have another stoppage as Barry Roberts is around. And this will bring on the yellows. Well, I put the kiss of death on that, didn't I? On a lap 17, the 14 is around again. So we've had stoppages on lap two, four, nine. Sorry, stoppages twice on lap two, four, nine, twice on lap 12, twice on lap 14 and now on lap 16. At least in the first B main, we uh, went 11 laps to the finish. Restart coming up. Okay, we're going to go. All about set to go with the restart. We have eight cars left, just like we had in the first one. 
four laps to negotiate. Jamie Oldfield has led from the get-go. Joss in second place, Hoth in third. And so passes once again. Back in fourth place is Shane Wilde. Just can't stay with Hoth for the moment. As they move down the back straight, Stanley goes into fifth now. Underneath of the next car. As they move, of Scotty Hunter, as they move up the main straight, Hoth and Joss. Hoth goes around Joss into third, into second. Joss back to third. Shane Wilde in fourth place. So they run the back straight. Some of these cars getting a little bit tired as they move down the back straight. And not forgetting the A main is 40 laps later on tonight. Into the main straight they come. Jamie Oldfield's car looks very strong out in front. Second place is Hoth. Joss in third place. Back in fourth place, not sounding all that flash, is Shane Wilde. Fifth place is uh, that of uh, Daniel Stanley. White flag to come out this time around. There'll be one lap to go in the B main, number two. And there it is, white flag on display for the zero car of Jamie Oldfield. Second place is Jake Hoth. Third place is 69, Paul Joss. Back in fourth is Shane Wilde, then Stanley. Then back to uh, the 71 car of Scotty Hunter. Then Matt Lowe. But Harry comes out of turn four, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to lead from start to finish. A lot happened in those 20 laps, but Jamie Oldfield is clear and wins. Jamie Oldfield first across the line. Second goes the way of Jake Hoth. Third to Paul Joss. They qualify. Shane Wilde is out of the event. So too is Daniel Stanley. Scotty Hunter is sixth and finished. So too Matt Lowe. Eighth is Glenn Chinnery and Brendan Fagan is ninth. They're the final cars that will finish this race. No time for the race, but I can tell you it went for 33 and a half minutes. The winning margin, 1.828 seconds. And it's Oldfield, Hoth and Joss, the three that qualify to start out at 18, 20 and 22. And Jamie Oldfield had the quick lap at 22.037.